At the recent Cassandra Summit in San Jose, California, I had a chance to speak with German Eichberger about his involvement in the Cassandra Project. We are at Cassandra Summit in San Jose, California. How long have you been involved with the, the Cassandra Project? I've been... I've used Cassandra probably, uh, gosh, probably 10, 10 years ago oh, okay. for a project at uh, HP. <clears throat> And, and then it was a little bit on pause, and I then started at Microsoft to build a Cassandra, manage Cassandra service where customers of Microsoft can get a Cassandra cluster, and we do most of the management for them. And then I, and that started like um, three years ago. That's when I got really back into the Cassandra community, mailing list, uh, did online patches, things. And they're, they're very welcoming community, very nice people. So you've been involved in the uh, 5.0 effort. Yes. What can we look for in, in 5.0? What are, the, what are the, the highlights of that? So the highlights for me is definitely vector search. So, we, so at Microsoft in the data group, we have multiple databases with Postgres, Cosmos DB, SQL Server, and, and MySQL and Cassandra. And the thing is, we were the first ones with vector search. So we, we, we won basically an internal race, which database can have vector search first. And because the community was so great, we, we, did a, we got a vector search. And what makes us incredibly happy is that the vector search in Cassandra that's, is based on an algorithm developed by Microsoft Research called disk ANN or disk N. And just recently, the inventor of that joined our, our database team. So, so um, he asked me, can, Am I allowed to answer Cassandra questions when they ask me? I said, of course you are. You can help them. The, the, the other feature we are, we are very happy about is the dynamic data masking, which is a feature that is inspired by uh, Microsoft SQL Server, has that too. And so we are the only other database in this portfolio which can have a check mark. Yeah, we do dynamic data masking. Made me again proud that we are on the forefront. So it's a little bit competition there, but all those features really, really help to, to show the Cassandra Series database and, and it tries to take the best from all databases and, and this morning the vector search is definitely best in class with the disk and the dynamic data masking is really good and, and what the people over at uh, Microsoft always tell me, Cassandra is one of the few databases which listens to their customers and trying to make them happy by adding features which are really useful for customers and not just some esoteric thing, some product manager dreams up, really things customers demand. Get, get done and, and make them happen. Yeah, that's a question that I, that I asked one of your colleagues earlier, is where the new feature roadmap comes from, whether it comes from the users, from the community. Yeah, it definitely comes from the community and, and you've got to watch out for your customers. Because yeah. You can't force people to use it. They can do whatever they want. Tell me some about the, uh, the Catalyst program. So the Catalyst program is to honor non-code contributors work in the community. As I said, we, yeah, we should do more code contributions, but we are not doing them. And so, so mostly, so, and, and the other problem is with uh, Cassandra is a very complex code base, so yeah. you need to be there <coughs> a good part of your week to move things. And, and I need to be, and so Catalyst is for people who can't dedicate a whole week or a lot of time to, to programming. They can, maybe they can just uh, dedicate an afternoon or a day to help the Cassandra community answer things on the mailing list and, and, and help promote Cassandra and help to be there and do things. And, and that's the Catalyst program. So, so for people who can't make this huge time commitment but still want to help, mm -hmm. and maybe they can't even, uh, aren't even coders. So, so that's uh, very proud to be nominated and be a member of the Catalyst program. Because, but for me, I can code, I could be a con committer, but I don't have the time, I have to do so many other things. I can only dedicate a few hours a week, and, and yeah, that's, it's, it's tough in open source. Open source is, they, they, they need to be happy with whatever they can get, say yeah. that way. So, uh, the community is super, super welcoming, it's a, it's a big community of Cassandra people, and, and most of the people are really, really great, and, and I really enjoy working with them, and, and just case in point, uh, just how great they are, we, we, we just released the uh, 5.0 Alpha on the Microsoft side mm -hmm. and, and there was a bug in it, we didn't, we didn't know this right away. And some of our community pinged us right the same evening and said, hey, are you sure you patched this thing? And, and, and 
we then could do that. So it's really the camaraderie, how we are looking out for each other, which is, I don't know if that's every Apache community, but it's especially in the Cassandra community. It's certainly something that we strive for, but uh, yeah, there's a lot of, lot of variety between different projects. So that's yeah. very good to hear. Yeah, no, it's, a, it's a great community. And, and it's growing now as we can have the, uh, the, the drivers are now coming and everything and all the contributions. Well, it was great talking with you. Thank you for uh, sharing a little bit of your time with us. Yeah, thanks, Rick.